that old Trinbegunian saying, your navel string bury here. It's a long string that tugged at the heart of Wendy Charman all the way in Canada. Her country called her home this independence to celebrate, not just with her family, but with her country. Flanked by her parents Winston and Uma Millet, an emotional Wendy, who has the distinction of being the first baby born on that historic day 50 years ago, says she feels proud and honored to share the same birth date as our nation. It is 50 years um, the country is celebrated. In this half of a century, there will not be another time like this. You could only be 50 once. I feel, you know, um, privileged to be, you know, um, to be honored and to um, recognize today um, on that day. Charmon has been living in Canada for the last 13 years with her husband and two children. Wiping away tears from her eyes, Charmon says Trinbegonians need to be proud of their achievements. Despite all the odds that, you know, Trinidad, we, the, the odds that come against Trinidad. Admitting this will always be home, Charman had this advice for citizens. Work hard, work hard to build your country because this is, this is your country. And if you, you, if you don't work hard to, to, to achieve what the goals for this country, it will not, it will not happen. Charman will tomorrow join with thousands of others to celebrate this country's 50th anniversary independence celebrations. To Charman, the Nicholas Triplet, and all persons who share that unique birth date, and to all trained Begonians, happy birthday. For CNC3, I am Samuel McKnight.